Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory. Let's take a look at the Hamware.de AT615B antenna tuner. Well, let's see what you get with the Hamware.de 615B antenna tuner. You get this control box. This is the uh, antenna tuning adjustments right here for manually tuning the antenna. And once tuned, you store these settings in a memory. Uh, to store the memory, you just flip that down. I'll show you that a little bit later. Automatic setting. That means when you switch through the different frequencies for which you have already tuned and memorized the settings, you're just flipping through and then tuning for the frequency that you're operating on. And of course, there's a through setting right here that allows you to bypass the antenna tuner. Here's the power switch and rotating around the back side, we have the antenna sensor, SWR sensor here, and a control connection for the antenna tuner with the interconnecting cable to the antenna tuning box, your key line in, and your power supply connection. And if you have to erase the memories, press this button. I've turned the antenna tuner on, and it's in the manual mode now. I have it in the middle for tune and in manual. And now these knobs remotely tune the antenna tuner, which is away towards the antenna. This acts just like any other manual tuner at this point. Input, inductance, antenna controls, similar to other antenna tuners. So to adjust it, it's going to look at the forward power first, and then flip the slug over for reflected power, and we're going to try to minimize that using the various controls. Oh, there's a good combination right there. That's pretty low for SWR. Very good. We're at 7.090 megahertz, and let's store the tuner settings. And I'll do that simply now by pressing the memory button down. And now the settings are memorized for that frequency. Take a look at this large tuning capacitor here. Uh, inductors fixed under here, switched in by relays, as well as relay switching and fixed values of capacitance, all to tune the antenna. And let's switch memories and retune for another frequency. Let's see what happens. Hmm, how about that? And let's go back to the other frequency. Yeah, oh, there we go. Pretty cool. As always, when you construct an antenna, be sure to stay away from overhead power lines. That'll keep you safe. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM here at the ARRL Laboratory.